everybody, it's Crazy Vega Shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are going to be talking about the game Death Stranding. So this video is going to be about what we know so far, especially because of the fact that it is literally a couple of weeks until the game comes out and I'm so excited and still pretty worried about the game. But I'm gonna get into all of that during this video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also to keep up to date with all my other reactions to more video games, movies, and TV shows, and many more theories. So let's just get straight into it. So the context of the game, from what we know, is obviously it takes place in America and post the occupation of the BTs. From what we know, it seems only America has been affected, but it may be the rest of the world, we're not sure. But from what we know, it's mainly America. Hideo Kojima has confirmed and spoken about this on Twitter that the goal of the player is to reconnect isolated cities and a fragmented society. You will attempt to bridge the divides in society and in doing so create new strands. Now these strands have been spoken about throughout many of the trailers, especially the recent briefing trailer a couple of months ago. And it was a very interesting trailer because it seems like it's very early on in the game and we do get lots and lots of exposition in that scene which is perfect and it was great because we got so many details about the game and obviously who the characters are and what groups are involved. Not only was the mission confirmed for Sam's character but also there was more information given to us about the character of Emily. Also I kind of got her name like wrong a few times because I thought her name was Amelia but her name is Emily but it's just spelt really weird. Um, so. Let's go from there. Now we know she's a copy of the original Emily because she, obviously in the briefing trailer we saw that she's not real. She's um, a copy of her and obviously she says that her original form was left on the beach. Now we don't know why her body was left on the beach. It's obvious that she probably may have gotten killed during the occupation of the BTs. But obviously we're going to get more information about that when we actually play the game. However, with this new copy we know that she has now made it her goal to become the next president of the United Cities of America. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. And the mission for Sam is to go west, as we saw in the trailer, and finish her mission of connecting all these different cities, especially the ones that didn't really accept her message, so it's Sam's mission to go and connect these cities and make sure that they are reconnected and but also to reach Edge Knot City and collect the new Emily from the Homer Demons, which is a group which is led by the obviously the villain who is Higgs, also played by Troy Baker. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edge Knot City. Well that's what her keepers are saying at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo Demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edge Knot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. So it's very exciting to see that all of that was kind of like explained to us. So now we kind of get the plot of the game. So now we're going to jump into the creatures of this game, which is the BTs. So their full name is called Breach Things. From, from the trailers, we've seen that they are antagonistic towards humans in different forms of their powers, using them against the humans. It's obvious that they have high senses, obviously can sense humans from like miles away. And we saw this in previous trailers as well. And it seems like not only with the inhabitants that they have on earth it seems like they seek to devour all humans and this leads me to talking about the extinction of humanity that humans could go extinct from them occupating America once there was an explosion a bang which gave rise to life as we know it and then came the next explosion An explosion that will be our last. 
In reference to the BTs, I spoke to a very good friend of mine, Alex, aka Ninja Whippet. You can also go and follow him on Twitter. He is a very good friend of mine, and we love talking about this video game, just because it's just so intriguing, and he and I put together some theories and we spoke about it, and spoke about the fact that oil is generated when they appear, both in gameplay and in cutscenes, and especially when they are devouring the dead. And it was also confirmed to be oil because of the fact that the character Cliff set fire to it in the release date trailer. Oh, it's so hard to form connections when you can't shake hands. And also we spoke about the fact that it is oil because obviously after several years and many, many, many years and decades, human bodies turn to oil and become a part of the soil once they are dead and like obviously decomposing. So this is something that we talked about and we were saying like that's probably like one of their powers not only to devour them but to use the oil to their advantage and we also saw this during the use of Timefall again in the TGA trailer but And we also see this in the release date trailer with the birds obviously accelerating in age and due to the storm that is coming, which is obviously the notion of timefall. Humanity will not survive. We don't need a country. Not anymore. So with the oil, they're not only devouring it, but they are also creating it to use against the human. <laughs> One thing I am unsure of is the representation of the big BTs. I am unsure of what they are, except for the fact that I know that they create the craters that we see in, obviously, the TGA trailer. That trailer has a lot of information. In that trailer, we see, obviously, it devours one human and then kaboom, like, the crater is there. It's shown that you can survive the craters, but it is said, and in during different trailers that we've seen, that if it continues, it's going to destroy like that land and obviously the country of the United Cities of America. So that's going to be really interesting to see what else there is about these big BTs and what else they can do. And also, like, if they are going to be a really massive threat, unless um, they become more significant towards the end of the game, because with the information that we have that they don't necessarily kill people um but that they create craters maybe it gets a little bit more dangerous throughout the game Bah! hello shiny from the future on halloween um if you guys just probably saw the recent video that probably came out before this it is the recent launch trailer for death stranding obviously before the release comes out not next week the week after so that's why um I have to come from the future and add more information into what was my what so far video. Um, so I'm gonna just jump into it. Now we don't know what the single figure large BT does, but in the launch trailer we were given some really crucial information that there are BTs called extinction entities. We've had five mass extinctions each caused by an extinction entity. And now it's time for number six. Now I feel like this is the major threat, like other than that massive ass figure that we see obviously consume a human, I feel like this is another entity that is another danger to the actual story and the game. And I'm glad we were able to see this because obviously everyone was confused about what the real danger is. Obviously there is a danger when there are these really weird off planet aliens on earth but there obviously had to be some reasoning behind it so the fact that we got something else that's dangerous in this game now it's like okay now we are understanding the threat so obviously there has been five we obviously saw in that scene that there has been five Higgs was explaining it to us so now there's gonna be a six so I feel like obviously with the amount of number of 
with the number rising and the more it's getting higher and higher, it means that there is a higher risk of the extinction of humanity. I feel like this is something to do with the craters as well. Like obviously the craters may have started off small craters and then they're starting to get bigger and bigger and bigger due to the fact that these explosions are getting obviously worse. So that's the danger and I'm, I'm really excited to delve into that part of the game. Like obviously the BTs and obviously the worsening of the extinction entity. I'm so excited. Now a theory that Alex and I also spoke about in terms of the origin of where the BTs may have come from. They may not be specifically alien, but they may have been created from a bioweapon from World War One. And this is specifically because we did see a lot of different footage um, from World War One, and obviously the BTs are there as well. Like in certain scenes, you can see them, and they're there during the war. So I'm guessing that. They were created by Cliff, whether on purpose or by accident, during his creation of the Bridge Baby, because we know that he does have a lot to do with the Bridge Babies as well. So I feel while creating the Bridge Babies, he may have opened, maybe like, not maybe opened, but maybe accidentally created like a way for these BTs to be created as well, which also connects to the idea of Higgs, because Higgs has like one of those baby carriers, but it's like, red so in terms of maybe he may have created he, he may have even created higgs to be honest well actually maybe not but it, it, it's very interesting and i'm excited to see how it goes because i mean we don't have so many details about higgs either or cliff obviously because we're going to find that out during playing the game but it would be really exciting to see um, how all these characters kind of connect and also just where they originated from because I really want to know where Higgs is from and even like why he's against the idea of everyone reconnecting like that's something I'm really interested in I hope he has a motivation towards that because if it's just like he doesn't want them to connect I'm gonna be really upset because you guys know with character motivations I'm really passionate about them and I just I just hope they're really good character motivations in this game. Also another thing about the origins of the BT, coming back to what I was saying, sorry I'm going on a tangent, but another reason why I'm saying that it may be connected to Cliff, like the whole like origination of the BTs, is that we see him in present time, like a couple of times during all the trailers we see him in different like time periods, so it's really interesting to think that he may be, um, maybe even a replica, kind of like what Emily's going through, he may be a replica, but at the same time, I feel like he may have accidentally altered himself in some ways. It'll be exciting to see his origin as well. So continuing from what I said about Cliff and his origins, um, I wanted to continue from that because within the launch trailer we actually got to see more about the character of Fragile. Now I feel like she may be connected to Cliff and I believe that she might be his daughter. Um, I know that Again, shout into the void. Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? The way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. Because she explains, obviously, in that scene that her father obviously wanted to connect everybody, that he obviously always spoke about the fact that, you know, they were working towards a better America and working towards um, reconnecting all the societies. And obviously through doing that, um, her father probably had to be a big importance to Bridges and the UCA. So I believe that it might be Cliff because Cliff has a massive role in this game and also in just the UCA in general because he's the one who made the BBs, he's allowing people to go out and reconnect everyone and obviously allowing like pe characters like Sam who obviously um, travels from point to point um, getting rid of bodies but also like going to reconnect cities, um, he's the one who's in charge of all that, who's like letting them do that through the use of the BB. So I feel like Fragile might be the daughter of Cliff. Now the consequences of dying. This is a very interesting concept and I feel like it's very, how should I say, it's very unique and it's new because we haven't seen something like this because 
It's not the conventional reset where you go back to a checkpoint and then you start and go back and you have to do the same battle over and over again. And we see a glimpse of this in not only the TGA trailer, but we see this in the release date trailer where Sam is obviously pulled underwater and he's just in that water landscape. And then, obviously, in the release date trailer, we see him getting just dragged down. And I'm guessing, and this is something connected to the articles and obviously the interviews that Hideo Kojima has said, in that that area could be some sort of purgatory it may not just always be water it may be different areas but from what kojima has confirmed he has said that you can stay in that purgatory area for as long as you want however it will change like the outcome of your story so that's a very interesting concept to see that involved in this game like obviously this game is very unique and it's got some really hefty like themes that we're all gonna have to delve into when we play the game but i'm excited to see how it all turns out now the bridge babies aka the bb's um <laughs> are a major part of this game and they are a major part of the story and something that confused everybody including me like i was so confused in the involvement of a baby especially when the first ever trailer came out in 2016 where it was like this one line connected to the baby and then connected to sam and i was like what is all this connection going on this is crazy but it was very interesting i was just like what has this all got to do i thought it was another pt and i was like another pt game yes but no it's not sadly but it's very interesting to see the purpose of these babies in this game. The, it has been confirmed again with information given from Hideo Kojima and obviously the Kojima Productions that the baby is taken from still mother's womb and <laughs> it's very crazy and it is known in this obviously this world of Death Stranding that a still mother's womb creates a connection to the world of the dead so I'm guessing and this again connects to the origin of the bts i'm guessing that during experimentation to this connection of the the world of the dead that cliff may have accidentally allowed the bts to be created this is why i'm thinking that that there has to be a connection between him and the bts so i'm hoping that theory is correct because i feel like it is like i feel like it's a pretty strong theory but I may be wrong, but I'm very excited to see what other people think about, like, the term of, like, the origination of where the BTs are from. But anyway, continuing with the BBs, so the company Bridges uses these babies to create carriers that use the same mechanics as the still mother's womb and obviously allows the carrier to obviously pick up and sense where the bts are like if they're in the area we obviously see this in many of the trailers with the flashing camera usage and the lights we see that and it's a very big part of the game not only the like the cutscenes but also the gameplay it's very very important the one thing i'm not sure about is the main goal of the homo demons obviously led by higgs um they all have one common goal as we saw in the briefing trailer and it's only that they are a militant group and aren't affected by the craters that occur as well um there have been sayings that in the briefing trailer that they have like people who have committed suicide for them and like killed lots of people from bridges so that's very interesting but at the same time i really want to know more about like their goals and their like motivations again to do with higgs and also just the rest of the group in general like i want to hear more about them so i'm very excited to see what else kind of opens the door for that in the game when playing it so i'm very excited to play the game and find that out i also feel like higgs even though i was saying like he may have been a creation of cliffs maybe not that's just like a, a theory out in the wild like i'm just shouting it into the wild but i feel like higgs may have been a part of bridges maybe previously and then maybe maybe there was an accident and maybe he got affected and maybe he got kicked out perhaps so again another theory i'm unsure if it's true but it it'll be interesting to see like his origin story and i'm excited because obviously troy baker but also just like his character is very interesting like we've seen very little of him but 
he seems like a really interesting character, so I'm very excited to like kind of like watch that unfold. I'm also really interested in Norman Reedus's character, obviously Sam, who's the main character of the story. I'm excited to see what else happens with his character because obviously it seems like he obviously apart from being the main character and having this mission to go and save Emily it seems like he has a bigger part to do with this and I'm, another theory I'm going to throw out there is that me and Alex spoke about this very briefly and we're not sure we were just saying like what if what if Sam was like one of those babies who was used for experimentation and I'm just throwing this out there because of the fact that in early trailers, we did see that his body kind of like sensed the BTs before like his baby carrier would sometimes. In general he did it and he would sense it so I'm I was guessing that he may have been a baby that was used maybe but a, apparently like survived without um, being turned off and on and then obviously grew up okay just cutting in here because obviously the launch trailer was he here and in the launch trailer they did talk about what Sam is actually feeling um, the fact that what the condition he has is fossil phobia ah, what's the other mark from Clingy woman in a cave. I see. Aphanthosomphobia. Said by Dead Man, which is Guillermo del Toro's character. And I'm guessing it is a condition that very few people have. Fragile also said that she has the same condition in the E3 trailer from 2018. You have dooms, like me. What's your level? I've got the extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense him. But the thing is, I feel like he could be a bridge baby still, and she could be too. Because, and I know I'm getting deep here, but I feel like both of them could be bridge babies because of the fact that they do have the skills a bridge baby has. Um, obviously, without the conditioning of like a carrier and stuff. But I feel like they still both may be bridge babies in some way and they may be because obviously in this launch trailer they did talk about the fact that the babies do get decommissioned after a certain amount of time or get retired. So I was thinking maybe something happened and then, you know, they ended up surviving. I know that's a, again, shout into the void, but still. You never know. It could be it could be a possibility. After watching the launch trailer, I feel like Emily's role is a lot bigger than we thought it would be, um, especially from two particular scenes, which I'm going to play right now. She's fine. Extinction's on hold for now. Did I ever tell you my real name? I wanted to. It's Amerigo. After Amerigo Vespucci, the man who discovered the continent. I thought it was Columbus. Except Amerigo was full of it. He lied. America is a lie. Now I feel like due to the fact that she is a replica of the original Emily, that the homo demons may take advantage of her and control her. And especially because, not that she lost control in this trailer at all, it's just that they may take advantage of her as obviously a replica and maybe make her into some sort of weapon of really massive destruction because of if the fact that Higgs said that extinction has been put off for a bit I feel like the fact that he put his mask on her controlled her in some way so I feel like that's a big thing like maybe she loses control and maybe she's the one who um, creates some of these craters or even like creates an extinction of some like group of people so I think that'll be interesting to see what happens so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe comment and tell me your thoughts on this video I know it was mainly me explaining a lot of theories that I have about the game and even just like the main plot of the story but please let me know your theories and thoughts on the game of Death Stranding yes we don't know a lot still we know obviously big chunks of information about the gameplay etc however 
I would like to know your thoughts and your theories on this game because it is a very unique game. I will say I am very nervous for it because it is very unique and it is very Hideo Kojima like because obviously he was saying like it was his way of trying to connect with everyone through this game so I'm very interested to see what happens and if this game really is like good because I hope it's good it looks amazing but at the same time I'm hoping that the story and the plot of it all kind of works together and that we can actually understand it um but yeah, we'll see what happens and if it actually is going to be a really great game. I feel like it, it will be confusing because it will take some time to obviously go through those themes that he's obviously involved in the game. But it's going to be a very exciting journey nonetheless for all of us. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crazy Banger out. Woo!